the first time that I read the script, I was with uh, Noah and Greta um, in their apartment. And we sat down and read it all together. And I played my part, and they played all the other parts in the script. Um, and it was very exciting and really amazing to hear it so fleshed out. I could definitely relate to Tracy Fishko. I have a history of wanting to be led by powerful and strong women who are brave enough to do the things that I don't think I could do by myself necessarily and learning from them how to, you know, do those things more independently. Um, and I think that that is um, what happens with uh, Brooke and Tracy. I think that Tracy really admires Brooke and um, Brooke kind of secretly returns that admiration but wouldn't necessarily let you know about it. I guess the role of Tracy offered a lot to me. It offered a lot of understanding into uh, feeling special because somebody else thinks that you're special. Um, and it offered me an opportunity, I think, to come into power um, as myself because that is, it's a coming into power story, the way a lot of these kind of John Hughes movies that Noah and Greta have compared the film to are. The relationship between Brooke and Tracy in a lot of ways, I mean, mimicked um, the relationship between myself and Greta, I think. Um, it was, I mean, Greta is an incredibly impressive and talented woman, and um, it was really something to be taken under her wing, and I think that Tracy feels very similarly about um, being taken under Brooke's wing. I think that every single part of Noah and Greta's process is very unlike anything that I've ever experienced from uh, filmmakers. I mean, starting with the fact that no actor, no matter how large the part they're auditioning for, gets any kind of script at all, um, to <laughs> the fact that then you're going to probably go in and have about 12 auditions and screen tests, um, and then that there's hundreds of takes or, you know, many, many takes done for things that a lot of other filmmakers might just brush over or just feel like they had gotten. Um, a level of perfectionism and also, like, commitment to craft and commitment to, um, getting, like, the absolute best version of what they could get. Um, that's really exciting.